Welcome back. Here we are yet again on a Wednesday at noon um, uh, on the Impact in Action live show. So I'm so happy you are here with us. I hope you are or watching the replay because we are here to talk about mindset shifts and tactical approaches to put your impact into action. So if you are a service business, uh, then you know that attracting clients is the end all be all of uh, your business success, right? Like it is a constant process of trying to make sure that you are in front of and attracting those ideal people. And it can be stressful, right? You you feel like you are like searching out into the wild blue yonder, trying to find people to hop on a call or jump into your program or say, hell yes, to your offer. But if you just take a breath and you breathe, they add a little zen into the mix. I mean, you're going to work, but you're going to add a little zen into the mix. You realize that it is totally doable. You will find that audience and it does take more time than we want it to. And it does take attention. But uh, and it may seem difficult sometimes, but it's actually not complicated. So that's what we're going to talk about. Right. Because often when we think uh, things take longer, when they do take longer than we want them to do or are kind of harder than we would like, we get impatient, you know, and we'll throw new tactics out at the challenge instead of kind of holding steady to uh, the foundational work that we know we should be doing that is actually getting us there. It's just maybe taking a, a second longer. So uh, let's get into how we can do that, right? Like how we can attract those ideal clients and in the end, boost that bottom line, build our wealth so we can live the kind of life that we choose to live. So I am Marianne Lombardi. I am the founder and CEO of Marianne Lombardi Coaching. I work with women and non-binary entrepreneurs to help them build wealth and independence and ditch that work-life balance battle so they can build profitable businesses that are in alignment with that life that they uh, want to live, a life that they choose to live. So, all right, we're going to talk about four things uh, that are going to help you attract that ideal client and uh, boost your bottom line. So first and foremost, the kind of obvious one in the bunch, but we've got to say it, is make sure you know who that client is, right? Sometimes we think we know and then we rush into it, but we don't actually do the work to really understand that, them. So start with knowing who you serve. Because if you try to speak to everyone, you are going to attract no one. If you aren't sure who that ideal client is, or if your services have changed or the market has shifted, go back and do the work again, right? Do the work to figure that out. It's a good plan for you to go back and just check in always to make sure that that audience you think you serve, the audience you want to serve is actually the audience who is interested in the offer that you have to, uh, you know, to present to them. So remember, you, you need to know who you want to serve, why you want to serve, what about that community is a good fit for your offer, sort of how do those things align with each other? You know, what is your relationship to that audience, to that community? How are you connected to them, right? How is the problem that you're solving connected to that community, right? So you need to know their demographics as well as their psychographics, right? And their demographics, uh, just as a reminder, demographics are the general characteristics of a population, right, of a group of people. You know, they're like age and gender and race and ethnicity and uh, like a geographic area, education, income level, that kind of thing. And they are sort of half or one piece of that puzzle. And then the psychographics are the personality traits, right? They're like, what are the values? What are the behaviors, the lifestyle choices, social class, how they spend their time, how they want to be seen, right? I've always liked this quote. I wish I knew where it came from, which was demographics explain who your buyer is, where psychographics explain why they are buying. OK, and I have I have a whole training on this, which I will uh, link in the YouTube replay of this so you can uh, have access to it. That really digs deep into how to find that ideal client and really develop the who, what, why of your business. But make sure that you go back and you really know who that client is. This is foundational work, right? It's going to pay dividends in the future. If you are if you're trying to serve a client that has no interest or need for your services, then you are wasting your time and attention and you're also wasting their time and attention. So know your clients. One of my uh, recent favorite uh, businesses is like new to me businesses is uh, Daylight. 
uh, look it up. Their website is joindaylight.com and they're a, a banking service, you know, um, business organization and it serves the LGBTQ plus community. And they, they have this passionate mission to serve the queer community who have been overlooked by financial services in the past. And their language is clear. Their content is clear. They're spot on about who they serve and how they serve them. So if you're looking for a, a good case study or model around this, go check them out. Again, it's joindaylight.com. I get nothing for shouting them out but I just think they uh, are doing a kick-ass job. So the second one to keep in mind is to make sure that you are creating content that is actually serving your client because that is sort of like your storefront, right? Like your content is the storefront for your clients coming in. So you need to make sure that you are uh, creating the kind of content that they want to see that they um, are interested, that speaks directly to, to their struggle, right? To the pain point, to the stuff that keeps them up at night, right? It should help them solve their problems. This is the wonderful thing about doing things at home. People ring the doorbell and it's in your video, but we're gonna keep on going. So your content should make them feel uh, seen right? Like it should make them feel heard. It should, um, uh, it should help them find themselves and be represent. They should be able to find themselves and be represented in that content. So if you are having trouble getting inside the head of your client, go ask them, right? Go ask them what kind of content they would like to see, right? Like what con kind of content do they want to hear from you? You know, you can use polls, you can use surveys, you can DM them, you can, you know, just say hi, <laughs> right? And ask them, so, hey, what's going on for you? Like, what is the challenge in your business right now? How, how could I help you? So talking to them is, it sounds really basic, but it is one of the best ways that you can figure out what your clients want how they respond to you, sort of what they need, what kind of um, work they're already doing, you know, to solve their problem, because it's about developing a relationship with them, right? So if you stay focused on the long game and not this quick sale and you start to get to know them, again, it really is going to pay dividends down the line. You know, you could thank them for engaging in your posts or your follows. You could sort of slip into the DMs and, and you know, get to know what's on their mind. So really think about developing a relationship with them. Third thing you got to do is increase your visibility, right? You got to get in front of new people. And keep in mind that visibility is about being visible in other people's networks, right? Like it's not about your own network. You can be going live all the time, you know, posting and dropping your own podcast all the time, but that is great, right? Like the content is awesome and that content should serve your ideal client, but that isn't visibility. Visibility is about being in somebody else's network, right? Like it's about being in somebody else's audience in front of them. This is important. It's absolutely important because if it's in your network, it's not actually about visibility. So visibility is about teaching in other people's groups. It's about guesting on someone else's live or their podcast, or maybe it's about writing an article for someone else's newsletter. You could be a panelist or a speaker, right? In something else, in another person's group, on another stage, right? So get out there and network with your peers you know, and get your talents and your services in front of as many communities as you possibly can. They're complementary networks to your own. And the fourth one is develop a referral network. Your best advertising is coming from all of the happy, satisfied clients that you either have had or are already current clients. So, you know, treat your clients well, <laughs> like love on them, care for them, you know, make sure you are doing everything you can to help them transform their lives in the way that you only you can, you know, and they will happily share how brilliant you are, right? They will happily share how brilliant you are. So when you are looking for clients, don't be afraid to ask your current clients for testimonials. You say, hey, you know, Will you tell a friend, right? Will you write a testimony for me that I can use in my content or on my website or in any other way? Because a, cl a happy client is going to want to help you. They are so going to want to help you, right? Also, if you want, you can develop incentives for referrals, 
right? You can provide people discounts on your coaching. You can give them free stuff, maybe extra time with you, or even a percentage of any sale that you, that they bring to you, right? Like however you want to set it up, it is your decision, but don't forget about all of the happy customers and clients that you already have and how incredibly valuable they are for helping you attract those new clients. They are your best tool. So maintain good relationships with your past clients, you know, and if you have served them well, they will return that love. So let's recap, right? Here are four things. It's knowing that client, make sure you know who you serve, creating content that serves that client directly and speaks to their pain point, increase your visibility in other people's networks, not just going live in yours and focus on your referrals. And you will be able to attract those ideal clients You will, and you will end up boosting your bottom line. So share this video with anyone you think who could use it. And I appreciate your time. And I'm going to go see who's at the door. Thank you. Bye-bye.